Haley, I hope you realize how awkward this is because the windows and the hallway are right there off camera. So anybody that's walking by in the hallway can definitely see me talking to a camera right now. And it is so awkward. Oh my gosh. Hey Haley, happy Thursday. It is February 21st and I am trying to vlog in a new location for you this week. So during my NaNoWriMo group, um, the workshop that I have on Tuesdays, um, we started talking about astrological signs just as I was looking up uh, information about love languages. So today I thought I would talk to you about two ways to kind of identify myself in a sense. Um, so two signs, both my astrological sign and information about my love link. Um, I am an air sign, as you know, Haley. Um, I am a Gemini because I was born on May 23rd. Um, and I definitely am an air sign completely. What I didn't realize up until um, a little while ago, actually, is that I am a cusp sign, um, which means that I was born in the window between two signs. Um, I am a Taurus Gemini cusp, which means that I'm an Earth air sign cusp, um, which makes me a little bit difficult. <laughs> Being a Taurus Gemini cusp, um, when I first found out about it, I was quite confused because I didn't understand how Earth and air would blend into my personality, especially since I had identified myself as an air sign and as a Gemini for so long. So I thought that I would share some of the characteristics of a Taurus Gemini with you guys, and maybe it will show you how clearly I identify with such a crazy cusp. There are four characteristics of a Taurus Gemini cusp that I thought were quite interesting and so first one which I think really fits me well is communication is a key part for this sign um, which totally makes sense I'm definitely one of those people that can just like text somebody all day and still have tons of things to say to them if I see them in person um, so communication we can definitely check that one off because I fit that one perfectly well, the second one is that there are two kind of keywords that fit both air and earth signs for the air, it is curiosity. For earth signs though, um, especially the Taurus, their keyword is focus. And so having curiosity and focus combined into one sign, AKA me, um, that often leads to creativity. And as you can see, since I'm talking to a camera right now and uh, vlogging for you, Healy, um, creativity, I would say is probably one of my strong suits, even if it comes and goes all the time. The third one is multitasking, which Yes, we can already, no explanation needed. I am a definite multitasker. Finally, the fourth one is that um, Taurus Gemini cusps are often known for having a lot of energy because they don't like to pace themselves, which is me, um, and often leads to burnouts. So what I've often noticed with my creativity is I'm one of those people that will, once I get an idea, stay up all night doing it, if it's writing, if it's cleaning, if it's organizing, anything. Um, and often wake up the next day with what I like to call a creativity hangover, um, which is definitely that burnout. So as I said, there is another way and another idea um, and concept that I think that defines me quite well, and that is love languages. So some background on this, everyone is unique, which means that we all kind of speak in a different language of sorts. And so there is this book um, by, what's his name, hold on. Dr. Gary Chapman, and he wrote about the five love languages and talking about how you can enhance the relationships that you have with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones, if you know which language they communicate in, because then you're better able to understand so them. You can take this quiz online, which I will have a link for down below. The, uh, the love languages are, I'm going to look down so I can make sure that I get these right, um, quality time, acts of service, physical touch, uh, words of affirmation, and receiving gifts. And so after taking the quiz um, yesterday, I found out my scores for them. And I thought that I would share those with you now. So um, in the order of ranking them after taking the quiz, I got a 10 in quality time, which means that that is the love language that I speak in, followed closely by words of affirmation, um, which I got a seven in, by the way. Sorry that I'm looking over at my paper. Um, I got a six in acts of service, 
Um, my second to last one was receiving gifts with a four, and number three was physical touch. And so one of the benefits, I think, of this quiz in which they uh, try to explain in the instructions for it is that once you know what your love language is and what you speak in, um, you're able to make these relationships more effective. And I thought that it was kind of interesting. Um, there are some descriptions that talk about each of the love languages and how they kind of apply to you, which I thought was really interesting. Um, I'm hoping to buy the book soon just to kind of learn more about it, but I thought that it was interesting and I think that it fits me quite well. Um, I definitely am a quality time and words of affirmation person. So, speaking of that, Haley, my question slash task for you this week is to follow that link, take the quiz, and do some before and after footage for it. So in the before part, let us know what language you think that you will speak in slash get the highest score in um, and then some after footage of what did you get um, let us know some descriptions about it since my video is running long and I don't really have enough time to do them yeah. do you think that the love languages and the scores that you got accurately fit you so I hope that you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the signs that I think define me fairly accurately I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Thursday Haley I will see you next week and I'm so glad that you came back safely from Florida your video was pretty awesome. Um, I will talk to you guys soon, and until then, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye! Here's my view from where I was vlogging today. Okay. All right, bye, guys.